me you're, just that's your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. back to a new untold story we're back in the studio this time which is good we got the yeah it feels right we got mook on the ones and twos now mm-hmm. it feels right it was it was rushed last week and i'm sorry for that it was like uh, last week was just squeezing things in whenever you could yeah that was uh apologies yeah um what episode number are we on three three one three three one and apologies for that um the fact that i flubbed the three three oh what do you mean you flubbed the 330? I, I just didn't even consider it as an area code, an area code that I lived in for seven plus years. Yeah, that's a big flub. Yeah. So we'll get to that. We're going to get to the 330? 331. Yeah. It's 331. The so episode is 331. No area code. I think it's an overlay for like the Naperville, Elmhurst area. We're not We're not going to waste time on overlays. No. They'll have their chance down the road in the 500s. Overlays will? <laughs> overlays will. Is that? No, no. The other, like the... This is the auxiliary area code oh, for like, neighbors. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. Not touching that. We're doing three three zero today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you want to get to that now, or do you want to mm-hmm. housekeeping first? I don't like going in too wrong. Yeah, let's do a little housekeeping. Rudy, what are you doing? <laughs> is this housekeeping? I'm I'm yeah. key, I'm I'm right. looking up area codes right I now. I think this is the first time we're going to talk about it on camera, but it's become a little bit of a nuisance. You are we're... always doing one thing. Oh, Rudy's always doing one thing. Yeah. Every time I walk past your desk, you're making a, a thumbnail of yourself. You're yeah. photoshopping Are you doing your, that right your now? face on a god, a literal god's body. An actual body. god's body. Yeah. I, it's always a Spartan I, or a god. If we replaced your monitor with a mirror, I think it would take you 24 minutes to notice. I can't argue with this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got a picture of Rudy and he was working on, he had like 90 photos of him on his computer. All different, yeah. slightly. Uh-huh. I'm trying. I mean, I don't have a PR team, so I have to do what I can for myself. You got to do what you can for yourself. It's admirable. I can't even argue it. Like, <laughs> I catch my I, at a young age. I would. I, I. I'm always just like very. It's not even like an ego thing. Like a lot of times, I look at myself and I'm like, Ugh. but I can't not look at myself because it's just like a hyper focus. Maybe like uh, body dysmorphia is not the right word for no. It, but. Freshman year of high school, a senior, a cool senior, Dusty, caught me. Uh, yeah dusty hill yeah yeah he was cool he was the coolest and he senior. liked me because he was a wrestler he caught me photoshopping a beard on myself freshman year and i destroyed uh, he was, me he he could roast with the best of them yeah he, he would could. pull up to bay tree yeah in like middle school and he looked like he was 20 yeah 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 the coolest guy in he, the had school. A, he had dirt bike swag yeah coolest guy in the school caught me photoshopping a beard on what myself what he's up to i bet uh, he's good married. things yeah i i kind of want to quit photoshopping myself though why? Because it's too, it's, I've, like you said, like I've done it so much. I almost just want to make my YouTube thumbnails now just like completely random things. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a good photographer around the office, maybe Enrique. Go into the green screen room uh, in front of the uh, the white background in there and just upload yourself to a free stock image website. <laughs> okay. For what reason? I want to see where you end up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's your homework assignment. Okay. Very, very clear photos. Maybe one of you like holding just like a blank sign. Very, okay. very just usable in ads and whatnot. Yeah. And just make it, make wear, it free for the public. Don't obviously. wear any shirts with like patterns. Just a solid colored shirt. And what was the website you said? Just any free stock image website. Okay. Right. So then all of them even. Anything. Pixabay. Um, there's, there's a few that you could use. Mm-hmm. And then I want to just, I want to see where you end up. And then maybe that's what you could start using. Have other people do you. That's a good idea. Thanks, crowdsource man. it. Yeah, okay. crowdsource it. I mean, you're going to end up in some pop-up ads, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, I want to see for what. Yeah. Uh, it could get ugly, but I kind of want it to get ugly. Yeah, I want it to get. I want it to ruin your life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four of us in this room right now. Um, I think we've taken the joke too far. Tungsten. Um, we all, I don't know if we've ever talked about this on any bit of content, but 12 of us in the office all bought membership cards to the Mm. Tungsten Federation of Greater New York. Mm -hmm. This thing's heavy as fuck. It's sharp. 
and I've been carrying it in my wallet every day. I'm, I'm, it's causing my pants to fall. This so is a pain in the. You're end. walleting that. You don't. You're not carrying Mine's this around. It's in a paperweight. In a paper. What? In a paperweight. In what a you paper talking paper about? Like you know, like a glass see-through cube. Yeah. It's a paperweight, and it's inside of it. How'd you do that? It took a lot. <laughs> yeah, it did take a lot. I'm not gonna carry it. I'm not yeah. gonna wallet it's, it. It's in my wallet. It makes my wallet four mm. times heavier. Do you have yours? No, it's on my desk. Yeah, it's probably a smart thing. Uh, you haven't been carrying yours? What in Sam Hill are you wearing? My, mine's in my mail room still. Um, that kind of looks cool for what it is. Yeah, so we finally, we dropped it a couple weeks ago, but we finally got them delivered. So this is the tungsten mm. merch and uh, you can go get it. It's pretty fire. There's <laughs> there's the power of the okay. tungsten as advertised. I felt that. Yeah. yeah. Shockwave. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I loved those those sweatshirts until a uh, merch team dropped off a box at my desk and I threw one over to smokes and he said, Oh, this is cool. Mm. Oh. Mm -mm. It's a, it's a mm -mm. quandary. It's a quandary because he is part of the Federation. I don't want Tommy to think the stuff that we like is cool. That's the Never that. rub. Yeah. It's a big deal. Yeah. I, am I the only one that's been carrying this around? Yeah. It's the, it's the weight of 14 cards. 14. Yeah. It's 14 times heavier than a card, I think. So, yeah, I'm worried that my Apple cart, my Apple cart is metal and I'm worried that there's going to be some tension. I was worried about the the airport. But if, you, if you're a member of the Tungsten Federation of Greater New York, you could just send a tungsten cube in the group chat of the other Tungsten Federation members. Mm -hmm. And let's see how fast the boys respond. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can hold it. We don't have to cut any of this. So they'll, they'll respond. Mm -hmm. OK, so I sent mine. Let's see how fast the boys respond. The guys are quick. There's one. Okay. Well, this is Austin. Oh, no, there's Austin. There's Austin. Yeah. See, it works. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, yep. There it goes. Yeah. Okay. yeah it's got Two one. more of it. Yeah. And that's what you do in the, I think, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It pops off at random times. Yeah. There's Smokes mm -hmm. who just sent his. Yep. Got, <laughs> we got Patel in here. We got Patel. A nice federation. Um, Comfortable federation. I got back to some basics. What do you mean? I wrote some news jokes. Oh, let's go. Shall we? Only a few. Uh, it's mm -hmm. it's hard to do. And I don't even know how these will go over. Um, but there's been a lot in the news. And I figured, hell, why does uh, Nikki's going to give a crack at it? You ready? Yeah. All right. This is the news. Sri Lanka passed a bill to decriminalize homosexuality. Pass a bill? Hell, now you can fuck one. <laughs> Nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Right down the middle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Pro-life Spider-Man scaled a 40-story, ch the 40-story chase tower in Phoenix. Yeah. Pro he calls himself Pro-Life mm -hmm. Spider-Man. I get choosing Spider-Man as a pro-life hero. A Peter only shooting webs on the outside. And the biggest enemy is a doctor with a long metal arm. <laughs> oh. um, We're back. Yeah. <laughs> Researchers find subterranean natural antibiotics in limestone caves. Subterranean is usually what girls say to Kyle as he's fucking them. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. But but still before you did. <laughs> well, so, yeah. no, no, no. Because they, they, they know. Scratch. Did you see me scratch your balls? Was, you scratch your balls. Maybe not call it out next time. Right, right, yeah. right through the so pocket. I guess it's funny. Yeah. Is that why you not call it out? You've been on sweat mode heavily, but not even like the bird dog sweats, like the real like, like these comfy are boys. OG yeah. sweats that, that like ripped to have shreds you, at the bottom. Have you been itchy? Grass. I've been itchy. You've been wearing itchy. Itchy. Front back. Front back. That was a pinch and roll. I know that. Yep. There it is. Weird call out. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, like, Rudy was looking the opposite direction. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you hear him scratching his balls? I've been called out for doing that. It was traumatic in middle school. So I just wanted to return the favor and, and make someone else feel that pain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I did. I guess. Fuck. That, I was, that, was I don't feel good. Yeah. that was 14 years in the making. Okay. Uh, congrats. Move over, pajamas. <laughs> Study. <laughs> no one's ever said that. Move over, pajamas. <laughs> Studies have shown that sleeping in a tunic gives you the best sleep. Sleeping with two Nicks is Rudy's girl's dream threesome. Her and two me. One in her pussy and one in her butt, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, I don't know how that works. Um, Nintendo's <laughs> profit margin is at an all-time low. They only make, uh, their profit margin is 4%. All-time low. When asked what when asked what is happening, the spokesman for Nintendo said they need their employees to work better. 
Want to make the people of Nintendo work better? Pick them up and... (laughs) 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 Um, UCSF had a heart transplant surgery done by an all-woman team. So rest in peace to that person. (laughs) (laughs) Sweetest peace. Fly high. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, A Catholic middle school sent home a male student for having his fingernails painted. That's hypocritical. Even Jesus had red nails. Oh, Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, my God. That's that's the news for the week. All right. Glad to be back. Yeah, Yeah. feels good to be back. Thank God. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, it uh, feels good to be back writing uh, writing jokes. Or are we going to, the the dude who scaled the Chase Tower? Yeah, pro-life that's, Spider-Man. That is the coolest move that's been done, and no one's going to talk about it because he hates abortion. Yeah, yeah. You come in, it still is. But doing something dangerous because you're pro-life is hilarious. I mean, yes. yeah, it's, yeah, that just makes it whack. That's but like fucking a feet. black woman to, for racism. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, I mean, the feet is like the sickest thing ever. Yeah, it's very, and he he did it like he in like business a casual, <laughs> yeah, and he, he without he just, <laughs> he just walked right up it. <laughs> a skyscraper, <laughs> and nobody yeah. yeah, that was that's insanely cool. And like, dude, I bet you people were so excited to give this guy his flowers. Then he got he got to the top. And he was yeah. like, "Stop killing babies." Yeah, <laughs> There's like, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> yes. Imagine if he was, imagine if he was pro choice. How cool that would yeah. be. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he'd be he'd be with like Ice Spice right now. Yeah. <laughs> he keep Which bringing her up. I think that's the litmus. That's cool. That is the pinnacle of cool now. As being far with as Ice I, Spice, yeah, be just being with her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Mm-hmm. Danny Conrad is does his Danny, count as cool? Danny fucked her. Years no, oh, no, ago. he he yeah. texts us. He only made out with her. He made out with her years ago. Yeah, yeah. But does that does it count as cool as if it, if it was before the retrospect? It was no, they were famous because no. I was in a group chat with Doja Cat. Means. That is true. That's yeah. insane because she's probably the actual pinnacle of female fame. She, right isn't she, cool, female hipness? Maybe I don't know. I don't know what her deal is. I don't know either. She, she likes white guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that her deal? I'm not gonna claim. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why, did, how, why were you in a group chat with her? I'm a white guy, I guess. <laughs> but wh- why? Twitter funny men. A bunch of tw- oh, that was it. It was oh, a bunch of like shit. Twitter funny people. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Doja Cat. Damn, that's cool. Hope to be a part of one of those someday. Nah. How many followers did she have? Uh, not many. Not many. She no. was still on the she, come Her up. only song was the cow one. I'm a cow. Oh yeah, oh, that's how she yeah. came up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I uh, did you you guys watch the Super Bowl right? Yeah. yeah. I I was at a um, I got pissed off. I I kind of turned into a cunt at, during the Super Bowl halftime show, because um, I was at a bar, and I was just like with a group of people. And it was Rihanna up on that platform, pregnant Rihanna. And I was like, dude, if she fell off this platform and land on her baby, on her butt, on her tummy, yeah. that baby's shooting into the Pacific. <laughs> and this girl looks at me and goes, yeah. this girl looks yeah. at me and goes, no, she die. <laughs> dude, you can't. And I flipped. You can't. I flipped. Yeah. I was like, what? Did you just correct me? Did you think I actually meant yeah, no, that her baby would, know, would yeah. shoot? Out of Arizona, over California, yeah. over Baja, you California. You didn't even say Lake Havasu. You said the Pacific. Yeah, I said the yeah. Pacific. Yeah. I was just trying to make yeah, an I think, observation. I think we all realize, come to those realizations sometimes that we can't bring our energy to uh, like random people. Yeah. You just can't. Some things you can't say, they just won't hit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Dude, like, um, I just, I bit my tongue at the Super Bowl house. Like, Christian McCaffrey walked in. Oh. And I was just like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I blew it with Kenny Pickett. Um, yeah, what did you what you yeah. say? I asked him to dance. <laughs> <laughs> did that hit? Didn't hit. No, that didn't hit like an indie but he, song. But he followed me back on Twitter, so I think, I think. Oh, uh, I think yeah, I, I think go. I'll get another I'll get another chance. Um, but yeah, it just like I realized, um, I'm so used to being surrounded by you guys Us, yeah. that it's just it doesn't really translate to the wild too well. No. Yeah. Um, and I thought I was like a, a social guy. I'm not good at it. Mm-hmm. it's a real shame um kyle what do you have all right 330 area oh, code. Oh, shout yeah. out to you know i lived in kent i lived in youngstown i worked in medina 
in my 20s. I mm -hmm. worked in Mogador in my 20s. I went to prom in Wadsworth What's in my Mogad 20s. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to. I, I, did, I did, I did. Wait, you went to prom in your 20s? Uh, wait, have yeah. you talked about that? You went, I it was may, your yeah. buddy's yeah, sister. Yeah, my boy's girl. My boy's my sister. sister. <laughs> my boy's sister, yeah. Uh, her boyfriend broke up with her date like two days before. I did so you a, I went did to prom favor. in your 20s? I went to prom in my 20s. How old in your 20s? 20. Or one, I forget. Okay. Yeah. Did you buy the rest of the group booze? I did. So I was 21. <laughs> I never had a fail. Okay. I was 21. I was a June sophomore. So I was 20. I was 20. Yeah. But a lot of time in that area. Um, the flagship city. How I was beat. prom? Did you dance? I did. Yeah. I remember having a blast. Yeah. Did people know you were older? No. Okay. No. That's um, good. It was fun. Yeah. Was the girl into you? What was my... My friend's sister. Yeah. So yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> friend's sisters always love you. You know how it works. I know. Um, nah, kidding, kidding. Um, Akron. Yeah. Not a lot of good, but some good. It's the city of LeBron, but more importantly, rubber ducks, rubber ducks. tires, and blimps. That's like that's like that blue collar autism. Yeah, that's like, you know, that's that old yeah. school autism. Things you can line up, things you can stack, you could things sort. you can sort. Yeah, um, advanced stats from LeBron. Yeah, it's like the type of guy to look at a pile of sawdust and be like, "That's two point four million geometric specs." It's that type of autism. But Akron, I also worked there at, at a daycare for two year olds. Speaking of autism, with for two-year-olds with autism, I would go into the daycare and pick one child and work with him for hours. Yeah. It was all black. I was the only white person in the entire building. Um, Wonder World, I think. Wonder World. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. That's how we started our days. <laughs> Wait, your daycare had a theme song? It was like the morning song, and I would roll up. And I remember- Did I you the sing the song? Time, what? Did you sing the I song? I sing along. I think I have videos. Um, I don't know if it's a HIPAA violation or what. Um, what did I do there? You'd select? Yeah. I'm what? curious about the selection process. For my graduate school internship, I was sent there. No, I mean, how you select the child. Oh, they had one. They, there was like one child or two with autism mm. that I would work with during the daycare. Got it. Yeah. I was the only white guy. I remember I rolled up with manila folders and they thought I, they thought I was the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was fun. It was during like the LeBron Cavs run. Yeah. Of 2016. Good, good vibes. The power of carrying a manila folder has is un underutilized. What a folder. Yeah. What a folder. <laughs> what a folder. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then also in the 330 East Palestine. I don't know if you guys know what's going on Bad there. Stuff I, there's, there. The things are being spilled. Toxins, chemicals. Animals, livestock, fish are dying ad nauseum. The fish are dying People down. People are now getting sick. They're saying the spillover will go, you know, into the northern panhandle of West Virginia, where we are from. Yeah. So that's scary. Um, and if you know East Palestine, you know the people from that area of Columbiana County, you know the last thing they need is toxic fumes. Because if you, you know, looked at them, met them, you would think that this was more of a lifelong problem than a week-long problem <laughs> yeah i know they saw that the vinyl chloride was spilled over they couldn't read that they saw vince carter when i read that <laughs> that's what's going on there shout out to arizona miller my high school wrestling rival he's from a, a school district over beaver local that's that type of area yeah yeah, yeah. east palestine is an interesting name for a <laughs> yeah. east ohio town i know yeah. and that was right next to calcutta huh. funny <laughs> <laughs> what else do we got Obviously, we're looking at the mayor, and I went through every single community in the 330 area, because there's lots. I went through every single one of those mayor's Instagrams. The most boring job of all time. East Ohio mayor? What? East Ohio mayor is, do you think it's the most boring mayorship? A lot of them just didn't have Instagrams, or they only posted, like, wallpaper. So, but, I mean, I have to do the flagship city. I have to do Akron. Yeah. So I always start with a um, a PR check. I search their name on Twitter. So last time uh, the mayor of Washington, D.C. was in flack for anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. what, is, <laughs> what is the one thing that is worse than, this could be dark, but worse than the Holocaust? 
the one thing that's worse this, than- I mean, this is a, it could be darker uh, in grimness. A bigger and, Holocaust? And skin tone, yeah. What's worse, yeah. <laughs> but no, what, what, what could maybe be equated to a Holocaust in terms of- Of tragedy? Slavery? Of evilness. Yeah, black genocide. So I searched this guy's name. His name is Dan Horrigan and a bunch of anonymous Twitter accounts with like the guy folks- Avatar were doxing him, tweeting his number, calling him uh, a beacon of sla- of black genocide, uh, uh, calling him, what, is, what did they say? What, what the, what is, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're saying the mayor of, they say his number, they say, um, they call him slave patrol, apparently in June, um, a black man was killed by like eight cops, shot 60 times. 60? And yeah, they're expecting the mayor to, the mayor didn't like fire them or whatever he could do. So I don't know. I kind of was like, should I DQ him for being a fan of black, for being pro black genocide? I can't. I can't because I went through every other town's mayor and none they of were them boring. none of them had none of them had an Instagram. When was the last time this was And also up? this is just accusations. This was happened in June of this of this year of 2022. Oh, that's soon. That's recent. But I don't I don't know I don't know what the 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 moral grounds like how to judge him for that. I don't know what his position could have been. Um if you go to his Instagram, he doesn't seem racist. It's a lot of black people. He has 322 posts. That's a little bit that's ne- a, that's that's a zesty. Lot. For that's a lot. Mayor. That's, a, yeah, that's yeah. zesty for him. And so this is our first white mayor. This is yes. And our first white mayor is accused of black genocide. Black ge- or yeah, that's a, I think that's a stretch. But what's his uh, handle? Mayor D. Uh, mayor Dan Horrigan. Thank you. Two R's. Okay. Okay. So well, first up. off, the, the parody in mayoral fashion rivals English teachers or loggers. That they all dress the same. So it's hard to find an actual fit pick. It's brutal. Um, so I the first thing I do was went, all English teachers do dress the same. English teachers and loggers. Yeah, know. yeah, and loggers, mm-hmm. yeah. So I went to the date where this incident happened with Jalen Walker, rest in peace. And I wanted to see what his response was to that. You know, he took a month off. Okay. Took a month off from posting. His next one back was he poached a local black teen to do a, a tutorial for using the Akron parking meters and then he was reading to black teen or black summer campers um and then he was at the pride parade which is the akron pride parade so it's just six foot two black lesbians (laughs) bulls fittits hornets jerseys cargo shorts gun holster with a dildo all that yeah so not an authentic pride parade across the board uh the l was there yes okay (laughs) to his swagger to his fits to it was fit. just the L. It's the L. Just the it was an L prime. Yeah. <laughs> Fitting for a city in despair. <laughs> so a lot of like the st- standard mayor suits, which I don't judge. You know that I want to see your authentic, your personal swag. And the first thing I noticed was this b- blue or b- maybe bootleg off-brand Arcteryx bright Bosworth blue jacket. You know, he copped that from the Jimmy Jazz and Summit Mall. If you don't, you know Jimmy Jazz? Not a clue what from, Jimmy he, Jazz. He copped it from a Jimmy Jazz employee with um, a house arrest anklet on. Because in Akron, in Summit County, you can either do your house arrest in your own home or at Jimmy Jazz. It's a store in the mall trying to describe. Tyler, do you know Jimmy, Jimmy Jazz? You should, yeah. It's like a Foot Locker got Atlanta drunk at <laughs> Rolling Loud and then woke up in a Sprinter van next to what's his name yk osiris's stage manager <laughs> and gene mark heath's least steeziest homie that's what that's what jimmy jazz is that's where he bought this i'm thinking it's a cool jacket kind of i know you see it yeah. it, it this, does this, look it's like not a bad but, but 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 he, he he posted it on june 3rd i was like that's a little bit warm to wear it on june 3rd but whatever you got to flex the jacket he also posted it on may 26th and April 20th and April 11th. That's four times he's wearing the same fake Arcteryx in the same fiscal quarter, a warm weather one at that. He tried to four Pete the Rex. That's gross, man. <laughs> you got no Hester in your jeans. You can't run it back like Devin. You can't rep the A like Prin. That's a faux pas like LeBron's pops. <laughs> <laughs> Moving down to May 17th, 2019, because that's the last time I could find an authentic swag pick. He's rocking a neon lime surge Under Armour tech zip with the matching neon green 
sunglasses. He's in Akron, but he still found a way to rep the wrong UA zip with a forest green undershirt. That green tea's unsweetened. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Tried to kill it in the tech, but he's not a shooter like that. He's got that Little League baseball coach wag. Oh, no. Looking like a third base coach <laughs> for a pop-up sex ed class. <laughs> <laughs> show you how to steal home without an overt go signal. Um, but the caption, this is the weirdest caption. The, the caption is today is national ride your bike to work day. Anyone else need anyone else ride into work tomorrow or ride into work today? There's not a bicycle in sight. There's no proof that he rode his bicycle. Yeah, I don't see There's it not even a speck of a spoke or a rim or a tire or a handlebar in the picture. So I don't know what he was trying to do there. Perhaps even weirder, there is a phantom Apple AirPod poking out of the west goiter of his neck region. Yeah, no is. wire in sight. No, Don't know how it's loitering there. How did it get there? How's it chilling? Yeah. I mean, that's mine to some degrees. <laughs> now, is it a positive that his sunglasses match his shirt perfectly? No, that's like that. That's like a Little League shortstop swag. Okay. okay. You know, the kid who left Williamsport with the Hustle Award. <laughs> the kid who tried to rob, rob a Japanese boy's home run, but landed on his neck. He tried to rob it with his hat and landed on his neck like five feet in front of the fence. <laughs> Talking about vertebrae. And, uh, yeah. So that's his swag. Um, what else? I don't want I want to give him a fair pick. Give him a fair pick. <laughs> Going down to April 9th. He's clearly pretending to pick up trash. He's holding an empty Home Depot bucket. He's only got one finger daintily hoisting it. So it's empty. He's not actually cleaning up trash. What is the sign his partner says? It says, where'd it go? This is April 9th? April 9th. His partner, it's us wearing a, holding a sign that says, keep back from beautiful in front of a very dismal rundown area of Akron. <laughs> On the dome. See, I even asked you guys to help me ID this. I yeah. think it's a true, I think it's an off-brand True religion, like pastel baby blue and pink beanie, which could be cool if it's actually true religion. Um, but it doesn't match the rest of the fit. Looks like a true religion logo. Yeah. Got the horseshoe. It's still, it's a cartoonish fit. He's got pinky on the brain, Scientology <laughs> swag. He's rocking fake religion. Hold this out, Ron Hubbard. I will admit, <laughs> I will admit the forest green eBay hoodie goes hard. You think so? That, I mean, a, a eBay merch goes hard because you can't even, where do you find that? You type in eBay hoodie and it's going to just give you results of hoodies that eBay sells. So I will say that goes hard. Okay. He's wet as fuck. He is wet. And he has the Arteryx that's waterproof and he's mm -hmm. not wearing it in this mm -hmm. one. He's soaked. I want to give him a fair chance. The eBay hoodie does help a lot, plus 10 degrees. But the rest, okay. I couldn't find another swag pick. I went all the way down to 2019. He's rocking a navy blue and red Cleveland Indian C hat, a gray and black Puma power warm knit vest that's $56, a light blue Calero Husky fit dress. I said Husky fit is far from slim. His biceps are drowning. It's a Husky fit dress shirt, $45 I ID'd. And then the cuff of it is choking the life out of his Apple Watch. That's cider. <laughs> Gap Flex Athletic Taper Khakis. Um, all the colors are clashing. Uh, and he's holding the ball like he's about to like throw a curve ball. It's the weakest curve. Bruce Sorrell would take him 450 <laughs> to center at Progressive Field. His eyes are hollow. His eyes are all black and hollow for some reason. And this is the case in s several of the pictures. He's got that ill mind of Hobson swag. <laughs> And then the caption is, let's play ball this opening day. Join me and wear your favorite baseball cap. He's a cyborg. Um, lastly, February 16th, 2018, he tried to Birdman hand rub his intro to addressing the pothole situ situation in greater Akron. All around, I mean, I think you guys know where this is going. Yeah. Heat check, high school dropout, zero degrees. <laughs> oh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, zero degrees. Yeah. Is he the lowest so far? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, tough competition, but yeah. I think we had three fails, three makes. I love uh, the uh, Harrell callback, too. Yeah, Harrell was good. Um, Yeah, this is a tough job. Like, uh, this was the best I could work with in the entire uh, Northeast Ohio area. So we don't I'm have to follow forward. area codes if you don't want to. I might have to switch it up. I mean, the, the mayor game is, the mayor Instagram game is tough. Yeah. I had to scratch and claw to get any material out of that. It's tough. It is tough. And if it gets too hard for you, Kyle, you can always go to BetterHelp. Mm -hmm. Not bad, Nick. 
Uh, the show sponsored by BetterHelp. When you're at your best, you can do great things, but sometimes life gets you bogged down. You may feel overwhelmed. Or like if you're not showing up in the way that you want to. Working with a therapist can help you get closer to the best version of you. Because when you feel empowered, you're more prepared to take on everything life throws at you. Now, uh, there's there's a ton of benefits to better help. Have yeah. you feel good? Have you focus better? It's 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 always have nice. It's always nice to have somebody to listen. Yeah. Sometimes you guys don't cut it. Oh, I no, never listen true, to yeah. people. Um, oh. If you're thinking of giving a th uh, giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and, and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash new, N-E-W, today to get your first 10% off. Oops, to get 10% off your first month. Betterhelp.com slash new. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash new. Yeah, betterhelp is good. I've been... I didn't even consider that therapy could be beneficial until Nicole, Dr. Nicole LaPera started popping up on my time. You can't escape the, her. I, you got anyone else? I you, see her. You brought her it's up the last top episode. Of my yeah, or on the act. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I, I did. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah, no, she's good. Last episode, I brought up that I saw one of our coworkers dicks accidentally and I didn't know what to do. So later I invited him out for beers. Yeah. Um, Wait, who, who was that? I didn't say who it was, but. Uh, somebody else came up to me and they were like, was it blank? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, yeah, that person <laughs> pees too far away. Oh, so other people have done this with him? Yeah. Dude, who was it? I'm not saying who. So, I mean, if you, oh, he or she, if, if someone has a tendency to do this, I'm guessing they're well endowed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know so, who it was. I haven't, I, you have a guess? A damn good inkling. Say. Uh, Mancini? No. <laughs> Man, I'm out. That's all I got. I got yeah. too drunk uh, one of the nights in Arizona, and I DM'd Riggs, I would die for you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> and then I sent Venus a DM, first one oh, in a while. Oh, I forgot about her. I didn't. Uh, sent Venus a DM, first one in a I'm while. Sure. She responded. Oh, she responded? Immediately. What'd you say? I like said, it, how's life been, V? And she said, hi. Three exclamation. So immediately. Good. Good exclamation how are you not even time between how are you i didn't respond i got nervous wait 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 wait. so you said her how are you and she responded i said how's, how's life been v so in immediately on instagram dms i would say is within the hour yeah there was no gap between. no gap hmm. jesus and you didn't respond no nah. let's bring it back nah bring it back why get what am i going to say get in the lab she just said good let's no right. she said Hi, three exclamation. Hi, three exclamation point. Good exclamation point. How are you? Question mark. Sounds kind oh, of body wow. to me, like chat GPT answering. Mm. No. Like I think that's just like, it's just like she was sheltered her whole life mm -hmm. from socializing normally. Um, what would you say? Yeah, look, I want to make a tennis joke because she played tennis. But don't do you have to do like an in-depth one or she'd think it's corny. I wanna okay. Like a really niche. Like what? I don't know. I don't know the game enough. Just ask her, like, when are you in New York City next? <laughs> Is that you guys are laughing? That's what I would do. So when are you in New York? I think yeah. you need a buffer before that. I do need a buffer. I need it's, it needs to be a tennis joke. I don't know enough about tennis either. I mean, love is obvious. Um, oh, I didn't even think about that. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's too obvious. She's heard that a million times. Exactly. Let me love you. Me clay. Let me court. <laughs> that would be getting rid of love. Life, life has been pitching some crazy shit at me, but it's all good, love. Why would you say? Why wouldn't you say serving? Pitching. This, that's why I say setting. Is this baseball? No, no, no. Soccer? <laughs> Did I say pitching? <laughs> yeah. Pitching, yeah. yeah. I just fucked that up. Serving. Yeah. Serving. I don't know, man. This I is... hope you return this serve. No. Oh, that's yikes. probably ninety percent of the guys who flirt with her try to incorporate tennis references. She think you're more authentic if you don't try to fake who you are. Say you don't know anything about tennis right now. What's another hobby? Oh, I know she's got tennis. What's her brand? The original? eleven. Talk about eleven, 11. by Venus. Talk about that. 
Yeah. Or just come clean. How have you been? Truly. She doesn't want to hear all that. How much time you got, V? <laughs> it's a tricky one. Yeah. So we'll send something now. <laughs> how much? Yeah. Oh, man. I might just say how much time you got, V. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What else has been going on with you? Um, I got to expense the else? Super Bowl. Same. It's, it's such a nuisance to do. My 3D printer still isn't built. I still have 85 pieces scattered across my kitchen. Life's in shambles. Uh, th- yeah. three, <laughs> how's the 3D printer? Not built. But what? How is it? I just said. You haven't used it once? It's not built yet. Oh. Yeah, my room's just, my, my apartment's just pieces of. A 3D printer could probably build it. Honestly. Oh. rummaging 320 bang what do you mean 320 is that much it was yeah but you're how what number is it uh this is number one i lost one oh. you're, you're <laughs> oh, okay yeah <laughs> all right you're trying to get the 200 yeah i'm yeah, trying to get to 200 one knives i'm at one and you're you're buying swords i bought aragorn's gonna, it's not going to help the i bought aragorn's sword last night whatsoever you bought a sword last night? i bought aragorn's sword it's it was yeah. a one-for-one one replica I think I apologize. Last week, I think I said the first 100 knives are the hardest. No, it's the second 100. Yeah. I know so many people who've gotten into the 150s, the 160s, the 170 club, and never got to 200. And now you're 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 stuck down below. But does a sword count as a knife? No. Why? No, it's in the name. Oh, I guess it is in the name. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah! But big shout out to uh, they didn't give me any sort of discount. Uh, <laughs> A big, big yeah, shout out yeah. to uh, epicswords.com. So it's assembled, right? It's not shattered? It's not shattered. I was thinking about getting shattered, but I think I want the assembled. Mm-hmm. Just in case? Yeah, just in case. I'm at the black gate. But this one, pretty good. That's $320. Money's all in the steel, baby. And what could that do that a, like a $20 knife couldn't do? Nothing. Worried about this is made in Japan. quality over quantity. Get you get to get the one hundred and then start worrying about. Well, where can I buy quality. knives in bulk? That's I, I didn't know that was an option. I didn't think there is. No, you is gotta a, buy one at a time. Do you remember that Oriental Trading magazine? My mom used to get it. It was like party supplies in bulk. No, I used to read it when I was pooping as a kid. I used to just want to buy things in bulk. But well, yeah, bulk is cool. Bulk's sick. Mm-hmm. But I was never like a, a Sam's Club member. I just tagged nope. along with Rudy, friends. Rudy, you got anything on bulk? No. Any bulk? No, I, I've never b- bought anything in bulk, to be honest with you. I don't, it, it like overwhelms me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's the, it's the nature of the beast. Because then there's like a level of responsibility with the items. Do we want to um, crowdsource help for our award show? Uh, what is the award show? We haven't even announced it. We have not, no. It's the nobodies. Oh, well, I the... think I think that's a little mean. I think we should call it the sub five hundies, and the mm-hmm. award is called the nobody. Yeah. So what we're looking for is, um, we want to try to find maybe ten really awesome accounts that have under five hundred followers, subscribers, even Facebook fan pages, and we're going to try to f- try to find the funniest the ones, the best potentials, the coolest, the, the steesiest guy, the, yeah. like different awards. So if you if there's any cool accounts that have under five hundred subs subscribers i guess that's the same fucking thing followers don't submit yourself don't submit yourself you got to submit someone who does something yes. you know what i'm saying like yes they i found do a, face- a thing i found a facebook have- page 36 followers i'm one of them kenya's best rollerbladers really really <laughs> that's, good that's, page that's, that's perfect so and these these guys yeah. are just roller rollerblading on dirt they are the best they have to be yeah they're the best um but uh yeah, it's gonna. We're gonna be giving the award, uh, the nobody, and mm-hmm. it's just a base of a trophy, no person on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Jeff D. Lowe gonna, we're gonna be have the categories voice. and nominees um, for each. We're gonna have this yeah. as a production. We're gonna be wearing tuxes, um, and I guess that's all that it needs to make a production is mm-hmm. tuxes. Are, are we gonna try to like invite them in person? Yes. Hell yeah. I would like them to at least, or maybe uh, we will zoom them in and uh, maybe like a pre-recorded. You know, mm. back and forth. 
and then get an address to send them their nobody. Yeah. Nice. The thing that we got to figure out categories. Right. So I think what we're going to do is reverse engineer. We're going to find the funniest pages yeah, trying to find or the best moment and then see what reverse the, yeah. engineer the. Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, best, best African rollerblading page. Yeah. Or um, I found a, a streetwear guy that's uh, bald as a bat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it's blonde. It's blonde, blind. but he's bald as a bat. Like a, like the, the baseball bat or the animal? A baseball bat. The okay. top of his head looks yeah. like a baseball bat. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> he's bald as a, as a bat. And I wanted to get, do the award um, uh, all dressing, no lettuce. Oh, yeah. There you go. And I, that's that, one. That, yeah. yeah. So if you're a, a bald streetwear guy and want to compete, got to be bald as a bat, though. Okay. So that's a start. Send us bald streetwear guys. Send us rollerblading accounts. Yeah. Those will be, that'll be a category. Yeah. I have a question, though. So is it hypothetically, what if the rollerblading guys? had like 500 on one platform but more than another they need mm -hmm. disqualification yeah no you need to have under 500 on any, every account that you post actively yes on. yeah okay so find some some real just up and comers um and let's let's boost them and i think we should try to get them to a thousand mm -hmm. but this award show if you go back to back means we're not doing our job exactly. right yes. right mm -hmm. so you should only win this once right so that's bittersweet yeah, I got my nobody, but I'll never have another. And then we can have like a Shark Tank tech in, uh, check in with a later with on a nobody. Yeah. yeah, where what have you been doing with these extra thirty six subscribers? We got? <laughs> How you doing? I'm sure we uh, surreal for you. It's us again. Yeah, people that saved your life. Put be. I wanna, yeah, I think I just have a god complex. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. Yeah. It is fun. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you got, Rudy? What do you got, Kyle? Let me look at my notes. I take the weakest notes throughout the week for potential talking points. We have a uh, <clears throat> Laugh Boston update. Oh, Tomato Gate? Tomato Gate. So me and Tyler went uh, with Sass for the weekend yeah. uh, to do stand-up. And within five minutes of us getting in the building, the manager that reamed me out came into the green room, held court for like five to ten minutes, walking around, explaining how there will be no tomatoes this weekend. <laughs> We did. We, we did. Talk we talked about, about it on, on the, the yak. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. Sass's manager yeah. called him and asked him to put out a tweet saying, "Please don't bring tomatoes." Yeah, yeah. And I think he, that would just do the opposite effect. And she referred to it as Tomato Gate. I love that. It's People awesome. who bring produce to any show, they don't listen to tweets telling them not to bring produce. Yeah. That's yeah. one thing about those types. That's of the people. thing about People, produce, People who bring produce to. The performances and also like I was on the train up to Boston and randomly I got a text from Sass. He's like, "Have people been DMing you uh, saying that they're going to bring tomatoes?" And I was like, "Yeah, I've had a couple." And he's like, "My manager just called me to make sure that can't be a thing." And I responded oh, yeah. to all those people. I was like, "You're not being serious, right?" And they were like, "No." But so here's where I think we went wrong. We tomatoes are they spread when that you get hit with them. They the spread seeds. out. It's a it's an area of effect. It's an AOE spell. What we need to do next what? time. What is it? It's an AOE. What's it's that? It's an area of effect. Okay. You cast it yeah. and it's mm -hmm. wide. Heads of lettuce. Yeah. Heads of lettuce yeah. can't break a screen. Um, Maybe the the root, if you just do it just right. A de-rooted yeah, de de head of lettuce. I don't know. Maybe just one leaf you get. You can't get much distance. But some, some wise guy would probably fill it with water. Mm -hmm. Those hold a lot yeah. of water. Tomatoes are kind of just water balloons. Yeah, fuck. Probably yeah. worse. Yeah, she said we bought the seediest tomato she's ever seen. No, no, we said we went to we, the, we went to the, yeah, we went to the market we with thank the attention. Thank you, thank you, you, whoever said that. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Big compliment. We did. We bring the seediest tomatoes. We got dive bar tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was on the phone with my mom, and uh, I, I was, was like, "Makes one of us." I haven't <laughs> spoken to her in fuck months. Why? On the phone, yeah. So, yeah, why? I can express myself better via text. Do you respond? I think that's I think that's something we shouldn't discount in when it comes to any type of relationship. Some people communicate more effectively better via text message. You scratch your balls so let's again? Not, no. 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 <laughs> Is what the Dominican Republic <laughs> does in baseball the most impressive national feat for any specific sport? Mm, uh, Japan and sumo. 
Okay. This guy with two different shoes on kept looking at me like, yeah, I'm the guy with two different shoes on. Um, let's dig, let's dig where was that. this? Let's dig this on the that. subway. This homeless woman asked me to buy her two slices of pizza, and I said, no, thank you. <laughs> you said, no, thank you? Yeah, no, I actually did. That was embarrassing. Um, <laughs> she was like, do you want to buy me two slices of pizza in the smoke? And I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> That's uh, embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That's bad. That was my notes. No, I was on my I was on the phone with my mom and I made like an Anne Frank joke to her. And she goes, Nicholas, she was blind and deaf. No. <laughs> this is T. Yeah. You truth in it? Why are you, why are you shaking your head? You truth in her? Because Rudy, that was Helen Keller. Oh yeah. I was yeah. I actually I honestly think, miss those. Oh no. Yeah. My first Facebook status was like a stolen tweet. It was like an Anne Frank joke. My first Facebook post was uh, I had a VHS of Matilda and I intentionally like pulled the guts out and I just like posted a picture. And I said, worst day ever. That was my first Facebook post. <laughs> that was that was like 2009 before that type of humor. Yeah. You were ahead of your time. Thanks, man. <laughs> before VHS. Before humor. VHS humor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Dude, I used to love. It was so much easier to steal. I jokes was I was then. stealing jokes, dude. I was bad. The freshman at WVU just thought I I was Bo Burnham. They they sent me I Bo did, Burnham I special, and I I ingrained <laughs> I it in the their head thing. so bad. They're like, this guy stole your shit. Sophomore year of high school, I would re, like do his raps, like his old raps, as if they were my own freestyles. Aaron Varlas thought those were my work. My girlfriend Bree Robbins thought it was my own song. It was, yeah, the vagina orchard line. I was ripping that. They didn't even get it, but they knew it was solid. <laughs> oh my! I, that girl made you date her, right? Because she was like she a foot bullied, and a half taller. She, yeah, she bullied, bullied the you. fuck out of me. She wasn't taller. She was more muscular. <laughs> she, she was a beast, and she was like a four sport all state athlete. Yeah. She was. I was looking at my old tweets because I was looking if I ever tweeted about Akron and I used to do like digital blackface. What? Because <laughs> I remember in 2012, I was like following or let me see what I had. What do you have in two bad? What do you so have? So I see if. What do you got? You were you said you were digital blackfacing. I would tweet like the because I would follow all these like I would follow guys with usernames like I disrespect hoes. I don't wear condoms like that was their name. And yeah, they were, they were very just mean guys. And I remember I disrespect hoes was like the the coolest one of the whole bunch. Yeah, and then it was he got canceled because they found out he was Mexican. And he was always <laughs> tweeting the n word. Um, what did I tweet? I, I'm very, very curious of what this could be. It was the first one, some girl from my college tweeted, taking over Kent in Akron tonight with blank, my friend. And I just quote manually quote tweeted it and said, LMAO, you aren't doing shit though. <laughs> I was just like mean to girls who went to my college. Cause I thought that was like normal. Said 2012 Akron was turned up tonight. Burr. Akron is doing free HIV tests. I wasn't fucking at this time. Akron is doing free HIV tests. So Akron is over Kent in my book. 2014, Ebola was in Akron. I low key, low key feel bad for Ebola. That was my first time getting 100 retweets. I think I um, emailed Amir Blumenfeld after that. Who's that? He's uh, from College Humor. Oh, yeah. Jake and Amir? Yeah. Dude, I, my first like tweet that got over uh, 500 <laughs> likes, it was the Jason Derulo documentary I did. did I Damn good. Your parents were in it. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I did a do documentary. I spent a year trying to get Jason Derulo's attention. And I tweeted a um, a trailer for a documentary called Jason Derulo <laughs> about trying to get his attention. And uh, it got like 500 likes. And I applied for verification. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was, I was in those applications. Yeah. But that, that, all the shit you were doing was, it would, is still funny now. No, no. Looking back, it's, it's been, it's bad. I don't think. No, I, I tried to like, I've been trying to like think of tweets more. And I, to, I talked about one on the last episode of like uh, me going to the high school, high school with the Baba Duke, like just in my yearbook. Um, yeah. But I did another tweet. Um, that I spent hours photoshopping and I was just like, I don't like it. I, that, but like three years ago, I've fired that off and walked out of the office with a, a pep in my step. 
I don't know what to tweet anymore. Yeah. I've lost my voice. Huh. I'm just cataloging KB's old tweets now. Oh, no. Moog, what, what have you been up to? How's TikTok? I've been doing uh, the in real I still life. see you pop up. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm back a little bit. I, I took a break, couldn't find my footing. Um, and then this weekend in Philly, I was just doing, uh, this is me getting into an Uber after X amount of Bud Lights and like getting into the Uber. You've been doing it? Yeah, yeah. I've been doing oh, it. Like, you're, oh, you're doing, oh. Yeah. The I'm one, the one did How's really it? well. It's, yeah, it's being received well. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But I, I think I'm, I'm fully stuck in the bit. Fully stuck. I yeah. Like, I, mean, I like you change your style though. Yeah. A little we, bit. Make it like Blair Witch Project. Yeah. I'm going in the wild. Like the one I got into the wrong Uber, which like kind of like played well. Oh, you actually Whoa, you did. did it on accident? Yeah, I got in and he was like, for Keith, I was like, oh, wrong John, go birds. <laughs> and I popped out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and it, 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 it popped off? Yeah, I got like 300K. Jesus Christ. There we go. Oh. Yeah, you're That's the biggest the on this show. Yeah. By far. And we don't even have a fucking camera on you. That's good. <laughs> there he is. Uh, you don't need a camera is. on my face. Dude. <laughs> Rudy looks at himself in Photoshop like I'm afraid to do that. Like, I don't. I you've, want no you've smoke. You've been uh, awkward around the office. I'm so awkward. Yeah. Yeah. It, I'm getting used to it. I have no desk here. So uh, like, yeah, but you sit in somebody else's desk and they showed up one day. <sighs> and what you said? What did you say as you were leaving? Yeah. So I've been sitting in K Marco's desk and. Uh, the one day he showed up, I was there. I look up, I see him, and I just immediately started saying, sorry, 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 as I'm, like, collecting all of my things off the desk. Just complete panic. Face turned red. And you you think you're to the point it's too late now for you to introduce yourself as a coworker to people? Yeah. He's, he's like, it's been three months. It's just that, is true. that ship has sailed. <laughs> I'm not meeting that person. Yeah. Uh, so I'm now just, you just yeah. do a head nod. Oh, it's so bad when you get, once you get too far deep. I yeah. subleased my friend's apartment for two months and never spoke to like the roommate once. Oh, and once it like two weeks passed, he was like, "I now I just can't." Wait, so you were living in an in an yeah. apartment with a guy just like yes, I straight face. Yeah, when he w I refused to like go out when he was in the kitchen. Yeah, because yeah, but because I would show up in the summer a little bit, like two days a week, so people know my face and I've made eye contact with several people here who I've never talked to, and now it's just so awkward in the hallway. In the hallway. Yeah, it's over. It's over, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kyle, I'm so, I'm trying to find a blog to read out loud because I really liked doing that. Right now, I'm looking yeah. at. I'm. Uh, you got? I'm going pretty far back. I like to do um, pre Nick. Okay. Yeah. Um. Hot girls is pretty good. But that, hot girls. Hot girls is one you blogged. Huh. One of my favorites ever is the oldest teacher teacher sex scandal. Oh I, yeah, I remember that. I'm the boy who always orders chicken tenders at five star restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, let's see. Hold on. There, your titles are even funny, but. Do you remember witchcraft and jizzardry? Of course, we've talked about this. Yes, yes, yeah. of course. I want to. I want to get to one that you forget. Okay, I remember the chicken tenders one. Okay, it was a parody of an Odyssey Online article, but I'm finally feeling festive. No, I believe the thumbnail is peanut butter fudge. I do not remember. Don't don't pull that one. Up Seven though. comments. <laughs> nah, you were you were a mid twenties guy in this one. <laughs> yeah, this that, one, one, that one was trash. Do you I mean, remember that? that? Be, no, I don't remember that at all. I'm finally feeling festive. And there's a piece of peanut butter fudge. As the thumbnail. I have no idea what I this could no be. I have no associations with peanut butter fudge. I barely have chocolate fudge associations. <laughs> and that was like the, the my least eaten uh, baked good of is fudge. Yeah, is fudge, fudge sucks. This morning, as I went through the motions of my morning commute and waved to the pair of rodents 69ing in my apartment's oh, that's, vestibule. That's lame. Delete this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you blogged this on National Peanut Butter Fudge Day. That does, that's how much I was scraping for material. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. Ooh, my lucky day. What? I know you see your calendar and you think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, is there anything that you 
want me to bring up anything you're proud of? I don't remember. No. Let's see here. The sexification of America? No. Alexis Wren just broke the internet with these pictures? No. (laughs) (laughs) One scoop of clout, please? I don't know what that is. Foreskin Friday. I know that. The Curious Case of the Boy Who Cummed on the Sea Otter. That's a good one. That's a damn good one. I think I threw Carter Huffman under the bus. That, as was I, that the as first we, appearance? That might be. Oh, my God. Oh, this, just, this, just the titles are, are funny to me. Dear Future Hubby. Mm-mm. <laughs> I fucking hate picnics. I think I was actually pissed off and went in on picnics. I think that's like a, a very inconvenient way to consume a meal. Yeah, pic- there's nothing good about picnics. Uh, you and I went on a picnic together. Hmm. For your birthday? No. Okay, then I don't know. Uh, it was right when we were very much in the thick of COVID. Very, very much. And Jeff D. Lowe invited us on a picnic with Mimosa. And he, oh, yeah. he brought Outback. And we, it was so, it was eating uh, an yeah. Outback steak saying, in the middle of Central suck. Park picnic was the hardest suck. thing I've ever had to so do. So hot. First cut. It was so fucking hot. Yeah. The first, I'm sitting on the ground. I don't think we had a blanket. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I, I just, cut, I broke my knife first cut of the steak. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, picnics do. So, yeah, and I remember, and we had steaks. I remember going in on, but this was, that was just a picnic hit piece, I think. Yeah. People were like, too. What are you? What are Did you, you not even have any jokes? Who hurt you? What, yeah. <laughs> picnic hit piece. I did that during COVID, though. That was like the thing to do. Go to a park, drink a little bit, bring some snacks. Yeah. But that it's still, in, there's nowhere to piss. That's true. It sucks. It does. Yeah. It just drink. People, we're yeah. to the point of uh, drink every, everybody romanticizing lockdown. People are starting to retroactively do that. Yeah. I've seen those takes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was actually fun. House parties, getting drinks to go from a bar, sitting outside on this. No. Time to think. We should do this every five years. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was. Not. This is going to have a horrible impact on a lot of people. Kids just yeah. didn't go to school for three years. Everyone's That's going to be autistic. the worst, especially the kids who were like birth to six during that time period. They're going to be stupid adults. Yeah. yeah. The most critical period of learning. And they got nothing. Also in Akron, I, I, one of my assignments was James Harrison's brother's son. And I felt bad. He lived in like an old elementary school that was renovated into an apartment. And hell of a coat rack, though. <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> no I'm yeah. glad you told us that. Some, yeah. some good cubby holes, but it was, it was felt bad. Uh, James Harrison must have lots of siblings. Oh, to okay. divvy out his yeah, his winnings too. Um, anything else, boys? Got a couple of housekeeping questions if you want them. Yeah. All right, Nick, stand up. Ten days. How you feeling? Oh shit, I feel good. Feel Wait, good? did you do an open mic? No. no, you don't need to. I'm going in raw. Going raw. Yeah. Um, Might not be good. Um, I sat down with Mook and Sass and Grace O'Malley and ran through some of the stuff I had written down, some ideas. I think I have two uh, decent five minute stories. I think I could do ten if need be. Um, but we'll see how it goes. There's going to be some bangers in there. Hope sure. so. Uh, do you see that Bethany, Bethany Hamilton is against the trans community? Yeah, I oh, hated yeah. that we were away for that because everybody pounced on the surf and turf joke. Surf and turf. Yeah. She leaned right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Like well, these are just people like, getting rid of an appendage can't surf with you. Really? <laughs> um, but I, we've been tagged in that probably 80 times yeah, a day. Yeah, a bunch. Oh, every platform. Yeah. Also, we got tagged in a, a boy... Fell in a vat of chocolate. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. In what context? Uh, there was a vat of chocolate at a factory. I, I think it was at a chocolate was that factory. A factory. Yeah. <laughs> you ever been to a chocolate factory? Um, Saris? Yeah. Best root beer float I've ever had. Best chocolate pretzel. You're a big chocolate pretzel guy. I um we were talking about on the yak today how you worked at a concrete plant next to a shit 
plant. Mm-hmm. It's like what what is I everybody just calls it the shit plant. They're not making shit, but it's where everybody's shit goes. It's these open pools. I toured it because I wanted to work there. And my dad was the city manager. Dude, you could smell that from Sunoco. I was obsessed with poop as a kid. Uh-huh. I used to introduce myself to like as a kid, I would bring like a fake. I've talked about this, a fake dog I turd everywhere did, yeah. with me. I would, I would introduce myself as James Poop to people. <laughs> See, that's still funny now. <laughs> I was like, five. never met. I was like, five or six. <laughs> and um, my parents, I wanted to work at the poop plant. And my dad was the city manager. He's like, fuck it. I'm giving you a tour of this place to make you end the poop obsession. And it reeked so bad. We had to like get rid of throw away our clothes afterwards. And I just wanted it more. James, I I was, I was James Poop more than I was Nick. Roy Bauer worked there. No relation to me. Dirk's dad. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. uh, A woman fell in that and I think got pretty hurt because they're the churning of the, the, mm -hmm. yeah. Three more quick hitters. KB, Baby Jeter, check. Um, I, yeah, I, it, I still smoke them. Okay. And fine. I'm fine. No incidents. Yeah. That's how you have to get past an incident like that. You have to do it more. Like I said before, you have to do an even stronger dose the next time. Perfect. There's a dispensary here. Uh, Can you even call them that in New York? Uh, where I've been mm-hmm. buying and it's got the best name. It's called the coffee shop, which is funny. That's cool. Yeah. It's good. It's like a smoke shop. Yeah. But like, co- <coughs> Oh, that yeah, oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's nice. They are in my business. Uh, rumors circulating around the office that Nick and Dave are best friends now. I also heard this. How did this start? Um, we've always had a pretty good relationship. It's just been very, uh, you know. But what spawned that hi. rumor? Uh, he shot me a text, and I answered it, and he said it was a good answer. That's it. He said good answer. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It was like Family Feud. But I, did, I called him boss man, three exclamation points. Hell yeah. 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 Uh, last one. Does your shit still smell like dog shit? Big. Um, I almost said big time. No. Mm-hmm. No, just kind of. It's good. That's something you have to hide from a partner. Your shit smelling like dog shit? Yeah. yeah. Not even the fact that you shit near her. It's the fact that it, your shit smells like dog shit. One of our first ever anus episodes, we were talking about finding out your girl's cheating because her, your shit smells different. Oh, yeah. That was an underrated, underrated joke. Just like, babe, we have every meal together. Explain. <laughs> Explain why your shit smells different. That's yeah. awesome. Go in there and shit right now. Don't flush. <laughs> yeah. Who are you eating with? Who you- <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. How long have we been doing this show? What episode number are we actually on? I don't know. It's what, three. What'd you start? November, November 2020. So, to, so a little over two years. What was the uh, first episode number? 268? Couldn't have been. A little lower. Not YouTube. I think we would have to be Spotify. I I couldn't even guess. We're over 100. 115 weeks worth, give or take a couple off. Yeah. Couple off, couple double ups. Who knows? (laughs) How do you guys feel about disc golf? It seems fun. Um, you ever done yeah. it, Kyle? No, I th- I, throwing a frisbee is fun. Very Funner fun. than throwing most things. It's very yeah. Mm. No, I went uh, when I was in Denver for my birthday. We uh, my uncle is a huge disc golf player, so he took me for a round. It's usually we do it like once a year together, and uh, I find it to be very very fun. It's probably more fun than golf. Oh, way oh, better um, than golf. A while ago, the uh, Brody Smith. Brody Smith he reached out yeah, to us to, big into to the disc do golf. Yeah, yeah, he started cool as a. The trick shot guy or yeah. the ultimate frisbee he was like, player. He was like he was original. YouTube. He predated. Dude he was perfect. the he yeah, was the frisbee he was guy. The YouTuber. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's very fun. I would love to have um, the next trick shotter in the sub five hundies, but I want it to be a uh, non traditional trick shotter. Mm-hmm. You see that that big big uh, girl who's like a <laughs> teacher who she <laughs> live streams her attempts in her school's gymnasium. No, every no. Friday, it's a blast. But what do you mean? Like she has well, a lot of following. You know, she's big. She does have a lot of followers, <laughs> um, as well. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I watched her like try to hit a basketball from a baseball tee with a blindfold on for hours. And did she ever get it? No. Oh. No. But you kept watching. You kept watching. <laughs> yeah, that's the game. They're posting their misses now. Hundred and nineteen oh. episodes, by the way. Wow. Not bad. 
120 mm. next week. Yeah. All right. Would you go over 120? Mook? What do you mean? Go over? Rudy? In like a, in a partner. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's light. For sure. It's yeah. tiny. I like yeah. a, I like a right? healthy yeah, me too. gal. Why would you ask me? I would go far over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd go under. I don't know if you would. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Not, like, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't over. go under? I don't. I, I, I don't. Oh, you wouldn't go under. I don't know if I would. That is light. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think. Like, what does like M Emily Retta Jukowski weigh? Nine. How tall is she? I I have no idea. Probably five six. Probably she's probably about one. She's five seven. Five probably seven. About one at twenty five. No, dude. I bet you she's like one oh six. No, that's the. You can't give blood if you're under one eleven. Really? Come on now. I think the estimate is one eighteen to one hundred and fifty nine pounds. That's okay. That's too big of a range. Well, that was that pregnant her. That spans yeah. different body types. And then November twenty twenty two, it says down to a hundred pounds. So, who's geez. running that beat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, get dude, it. Dude, a paparazzi that just asks how much he weighs. No camera. Yeah. <laughs> Emily, how much you weigh? <laughs> That is a bizarre beat to run. Crazy, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah, that, that was like a big headline, like weighing 100 pounds. So I think she was down to that at one point. Yeah. So it would go under. Ask, ask, ask Mook again in 15 episodes. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Mook saying no in three years. Have you been going on dates? Have you gone on a New York City date yet? Dude, I haven't been in New York like consecutively for more than like four days. Yeah, you're just a traveling comic. Yeah, date takes a couple hours. Yeah, but I don't got time, KB. I'm oh, grinding. I was dude. wondering. Just dude, yeah, Mook is just sending you, us clips. Have, yeah, you uh, are working at like 5 a.m. Incredibly yeah. hard. Mm -hmm. That and Boy Dad and then stand right. up is just yeah. crushing me right now. But, okay. but uh, you go, you do row games. I mean, you had a girl put yeah. a gun to your head. I do. I do away games. Yes. Wait, how, how did that, how did you end up, like, did you know her previously? No. I just find queens in different cities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Toes and other area codes, brother. Yeah. Oh my right. god! She right. was a fan of the giggles. Yeah. yeah. F. Well, so what happens is after we do a stand-up set, everyone goes for SASS. When they realize that SASS isn't answering a DM or doesn't talk to them after the show, they message me. Mm. Oh, Prime. So yeah. then I kind of like <laughs> Prime. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good deal. Yeah, but it's like yeah, at the end of the day, I know what's happening. Have you done a video at Barstool yet where people haven't commented on how long your eyelashes are? No. Well, yeah. I didn't even notice. Oh, take, oh, take a gander. You have a bit. Oh, oh those are wings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice until I, I was like, people were loving Mook on the yak. And then there was just like three comments just like lashes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an asset. Yeah. yeah. On, on TikTok, I get that. And then where'd your eyebrows go, brother? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. People, people are mean. Yeah. No brows. Oh, I'm used to it. no service. <laughs> <laughs> no brows. You know exactly what you want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. You cool. know, I told story. Thank you, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. We don't know when we're doing the sub five hundies exactly, okay. but as soon as we yeah, have it written yeah. and as soon as we have all the winners. I'm going to start searching. Yeah, start I've, searching. I've, start, I've started searching. It's really hard. Yeah, you have to just stumble upon these people. I've just been searching combinations of words that I think are I would funny. go maybe hashtags on Instagram because the people. Yeah. Try yeah. To get, yeah. No, I just searched like different things that like just two different words combined think they're funny. I think that's how they write for Rick and Morty. <laughs> it, it, it also kind of sucks because if someone goes viral for one thing on Boom. TikTok, they oh, automatically TikTok, have yeah, it. TikTok's yeah, almost crazy. impossible. Yeah. So they still might be. Yeah. They still might be like grinding their content, but they already have over 500. Yeah. Yeah. We need but, like an anti algorithm. The algorithm's working against yeah. us. Yeah. An it's anti algorithm good. algorithm. We'll find them. I want to get a real old person too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Cool, guys. All cool. right.